Hey guys, welcome back to the 24th episode of Zilliqa Zebra's News Digest, covering notable news and updates related to Zilliqa and its ecosystem partners. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe to Zilliqa Zebra for all things related to Zilliqa and its ecosystem. ZRC7 describes the NFT metadata standard specifically for Zilliqa ecosystem. Compatible with both ZRC1 and ZRC6 NFT standards, it's designed to be broad enough for any future NFT standards. Metadata is necessary across the whole spectrum of creator economy applications. For example, if an NFT represents an in-game item such as a magic potion or legendary sword, the metadata would consist of its name, rarity, value and item-specific attributes. The technical team is opening this ZRC7 standard for public review until 14 February 2022. All marketplace builders, NFT project teams and community members are invited to participate. Everyone is encouraged to discuss and provide feedback at the GitHub discussion page. If you have not seen Sandra's interview on the Paul Baron network, do take some time to have a look. In this 5th Fab episode, they are diving into Zilliqa's Metapolis progress updates and what its imminent launch may mean for the future Metaverse experiences. This is also a good update by Sandra too on the current progress for Metapolis. Judging from the positive comments on the video, I would say that it was a great job by Sandra as usual. Check out the video via the link in the description. Zilliqa is listed in yet another exchange, XT.com, under the Innovation Metaverse Zone as ZIL slash USDT trading pair. XT.com exchange was established in 2018 and is registered in Seychelles. Its operating headquarters is located in Singapore. It has operation centers in Tokyo, Singapore, Seoul and other countries and regions, and its business covers the world. It is a leading crypto trading exchange infused with social trading capabilities. ZooWatch is a free-to-use comprehensive smart dashboard that aims to be the one-stop solution for all things in Zilliqa. To meet the ever-growing needs of Zillicans, the dashboard has rapidly evolved since launch and now supports many interesting features such as the tracking of ZILs and ZRC2 tokens, swapping of tokens, as well as the display of full ZRC2 token information. Similar to how tech giants like Google are able to provide their services for free, ZillWatch will create a self-sustaining model by weaving non-intrusive advertisements into the products. Banner ads in the dashboard and text ads in ZillWatch bot, all powered by ZWT. ZillWatch will be having a token sale on 10 February to raise US$660,000 via Zylo. So if you're keen to support ZillWatch, please read the details via this link below. For those who are staking with Atomic Wallet, you will be pleased to know that Atomic Wallet has finally enabled the direct purchase of Zill in Atomic Wallet. You can buy Zill with Visa or Mastercard and get cash back for your purchase. With a 2% card fee and a 1% cash back, this will result in just a 1% fee. Then you can join the 62,000 users who are staking Zill in Atomic Wallet. Short of having a good visual, I'm using Mark's visual in August 2019, which was used to announce the staking of Zill with Atomic Wallet on Twitter. That's all I have for this quick episode of Zilliqa Zebra's News Digest. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for your regular dose of Zilliqa and cryptocurrency news. And check out my other videos which might be of interest to you. Goodbye.